How's it going everyone, Brutal Sam's here and uh, today we'll be taking a look at a new PS4 homebrew app made by developer Al Azif called Payload Guest which allows you to load payloads from a USB drive or the PS4's internal storage without the need to open the web browser. This is an amazing method to avoid the risks of breaking your PS4 when you use the website hosts. Recently there have been a fake gold hand payload that caused some people to break their PS4s, but now you'll be able to use all of the payloads that you like by going to a trusted developer uh, website and downloading them from there, and then you send them to the uh, USB drive or the PS4 storage, and then you can use them however and whenever you like. Of course, we can still use the injection method, but that requires you to turn on your PC every time you want to send a payload, requires you to have a third-party application, requires you to go to the PS4's uh, web browser and enable uh, netcat or uh, bin loader so this method is just a one-time process you send them to the usb drive or the internal storage and then you're done you can use them whenever you want however there's two things that you need to know the first one is that this is just the user interface test that i'm about to show you and it's not the full application uh, al azif is still working on it and will release it sometime this week or maybe next week the other thing is that this is not a method to enable the jailbreak from the usb drive because this is a package and it requires hand mirror or gold hand in order to run if you don't enable the jailbreak the application simply will not work just like any other uh, fake package of a game now that we've got that out of the way, let's take a look on how to use it. The first thing is obviously we need the payloads. So we need to download them from a trusted website like Alazif's GitHub. And when you download them, just go to the USB drive, uh, create a folder, call it payloads, and then you put those payloads inside this folder, okay? After that, we just download the Payload Guest application and install it on the PS4 like we do with games and homebrew apps. And you just plug in the USB drive to the PS4 and simply run the app. Now you should be able to see all the payloads that we sent to the USB drive. However, they kind of look ugly with all the exclamation marks and no icons. What we need to do now is go and make icons for them. This is pretty easy. What we need to do is place a PNG picture inside the payloads folder and give it the same name as the payload. But remember, the pictures must be in PNG format or this will not work. Now, if we go back to the payload gas application, we can see that the payloads now have icons and they kind of look nicer than they did before. So yeah, this is how it's done from the USB drive. Now we'll see how it's done from the PS4's internal storage. To do that, we must create a folder inside the PS4's data folder and name it payloads, then send the payloads to it. That's pretty much everything. So yeah, you can use the FileZilla uh, application or the PS4 Explorer homebrew app. Okay, now I have them there. Uh, and uh, before I do that, before I run the uh, payload guest, I'm just gonna check if the files are still there inside the data folder, just to show you that uh, I'm loading them from this folder and I'm not using a USB drive. So here they are along with all of the icons that I made. And if we go back to the payload guest app and run it, we can see that the payloads will show up along with their icons. So this is how it's done from the uh, USB drive and the internal storage. Which brings me to the first disadvantage of this application. You can't dump games with the payload guest because the dumper payload requires a game to be running in the first place to be dumped. And if you try to go and run uh, a game, you'll be forced to close the uh, payload guest and therefore you won't be able to dump the game. 
So yeah, that's pretty much everything. Uh, kind of a bummer that I couldn't actually load any payloads. Uh, I know this was like only uh, a test for the user interface and hopefully I'll be able to test it soon. Uh, I'll definitely be using it. So yeah, that's all. Uh, take care. See you soon.